Oh, what kind of bee are you? Oh my gosh, there's bees everywhere. What kind of bee are you? What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue the bees. The bees are too much fun. They're so much fun. Look at all the bees. They're everywhere. We're gonna do some bee breeding. Uh, beating, bee. No, no, beating. That sounds terrible. That sounds awful. Anyways, so we're gonna do some bee breeding. We're gonna go out. We're gonna collect some bees. Oh, I am so excited. Now, uh, one thing I think I'm gonna do is we're gonna make a little bee breeding room right back here, so that way we can grab the bees that we want specifically, breed them. Uh, and then move them out as we need to. This is going fantastically. I let the game run for a little bit uh, while I was just, you know, grabbing lunch or whatever. And because I'm not actually playing on a server. A lot of people are, are asking me about a server. I'm not playing on a server. This is my own machine. I've thought about uh, throwing up a server just for this, just so I could get, like, passively get stuff over time. But right now, there is no, like, public server or anything like that. So if you guys are wondering. I know people were asking. Anyways, we need more bees. We need more bees to do more stuff. So we're gonna go into the nether. We're gonna try to grab some nether bees. We're gonna go around the, the world out here. We're gonna try to grab some of the bees out here. And we're gonna see what we need to do in order to get some bees bred. Now, um, I wanna grab this glass pane and I wanna grab another door because that is what we're gonna be using. Uh, we're essentially gonna have like just a little room. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab a chest as well. Just a regular chest. Just so we can throw some random bits and bobs. Oh, I have an iron chest. Okay, we'll take an iron chest. Um, I only need one though. Let's take one iron chest. Okay, perfect. So let's go get this guy set up. Uh, we'll make it like a nice little, nice little bee breeding room over in the back. And yes, oh my gosh, I love these bees. They're just so cute. They're so cute. Okay, so uh, let's go with. Now it doesn't need to be huge. Actually, let's get the door in here first. Uh, let's do. Uh, this might not work, will it? Mm, we might have to. We might have to place some blocks in right here. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna place some blocks in right here just so that we can, of course I don't have any blocks on me. Uh, do I have anything in the dank that doesn't look terrible? We'll use this blackstone, that's fine. Uh, that looks okay, we don't need that. And we'll just place these right there. Uh, Yeah, that should, we'll just do that. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, and then we can go ahead and make a, a nice little room right here. Uh, do I want to make it all the way out to here? I don't think so. I think I want to keep them nice and close to each other. So that way they, they can't just buzz off. You know what I mean? We don't want them to leave. They're, they're going to be busy bees. They're going to be so busy. Okay, so we got a little room right here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that chest down. And we'll just throw that right here in the... That's not the corner. Uh, let's throw that... Right there, maybe? Gosh, this the glass panes always make things super weird. Uh, I wonder if I could throw it right there. I probably could. Okay, we'll just leave that right there. Uh, and because different bees need different things. So, like, if we go to an aluminum bee, to make an aluminum bee, we need a crystal bee and a rocky bee. And we have to give the crystal bee nether quartz, and we have to give the rocky bee some stone, and that's going to make an aluminum bee. It has 25% chance to make an aluminum bee. Or if we go an aluminum bee and aluminum bee, uh, they get aluminum. But then they need aluminum nuggets. So like different bees need different resources. So that was, that's what this chest is going to be for, uh, is for those different resources. Good gosh, I feel like it was just nighttime. So let's grab some bee jars. And uh, let's see, we have 10 of them. That should be enough. That should be enough. Because I don't imagine we're going to see bees all over the place. Uh, that should be enough. And then let's go to the nether. Let's see if we can get some bees. We also need to go to the end. But I haven't... Uh, I haven't actually found the end portal yet, <laughs> so that's just a, a minor thing that we have not done. Plus, we'd have to fight the ender dragon, like, right away, too, and I just, you know, I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for this yet. You know, I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of commitment. I need to get this finished, too. All right. Uh, how are we looking? We have some food. We've got some of this. Actually, you know what? Before we go, I have some fire protection. Uh, let's see if I do f hashtag fire I think we have some fire protection, blast protection, fire aspect, uh, reach, temptation, projectile protection, night vision, fire protection too. Uh, if I get that, I need to throw that on some boots. And then let's see, do I have any books? I don't have any books. Uh, let's go see if we, we should be able to make some books. 
Okay, we made nine books. Perfect. So well, let's actually do a little bit of enchanting real quick. Um, let's go over here. We're going to do some disenchanting because this has night vision and fire protection on it. So if I put that there, that's going to pull night vision off. And if I put this on here, that's going to take fire protection two off. Perfect. And then if we go in here, maybe we can find some fire protection. Vigilante uh, feather falling three. What? Ooh, I really want that. Uh, but we need some levels. Let me go grab some levels real quick. Let me get some enchants going because I could really use the fire protection. And eh, there. I could really use the fire protection. And we could really use feather falling as well because we're we, it prevents us from taking so much damage. You know, we're going to take a peek here because it sounds like there's some... Uh, it sounds like there's some mobs that are like stuck right here. And I kind of want to see what's going on because they should all be following down here. But it, I wonder if there's some... It sounds like they're stuck right here for some reason. Unless it's just like an audio glitch. But I want to take a peek anyways. Let me go and grab my jetpack. We're gonna we're gonna address this real fast. And you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and make another fan as well. Uh, because that's what I'm actually using to move the mobs around. It's super amazing and super cheap to make. Uh, so yeah, basically I just had to make one of these. We'll go ahead and add that. Boom, we'll make a few of them. Throw them in there. Fan, add this guy, and there. Okay, because I have a feel, I know what's going on. And I just want to get it fixed. And I don't know why I didn't think about fixing it before. So let's see. If we go over here. This is where the spawner's at. And I think what's happening is some of them are getting stuck right there. Actually, let's just pop down in here and take a peek. No, they should not be. They shouldn't be having any issues. But they're getting stuck right here. So. I think. Right there is where we need to put a fan. So let's do that real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this fan. Do this, boom, like that. And we'll go down into here. And then we'll set it like this. And then we'll adjust it from the outside because I don't want to I don't want to mess around while in there. Uh, boom, boom, close that back up. Looks good. And then we'll go ahead and we'll turn hover on. Mess with this. Speed up range 28 speed 10 always on perfect okay so that's always on so that should fix that i think we're good the only other thing i could do is i could put a, a fan pointing straight down to like push them down but that might actually just kill them all and i don't know if i really want that so they should be back here perfect and that should be able to stand right here i have a nice little glass room and See, it still sounds like they're literally right next to me. Hmm. I mean, they're falling. Kind of actually want to stand here and watch them. Unless that's letting too much light in. That might be letting too much light in. I want to see this, though. I, kinda, I want to see. Boop, boop, boop. There they go. <laughs> there went a couple more. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Uh, I did grab... You know what? Let's just close it off. Let's just not even do that. And let's actually just go ahead and get rid of those. I forgot. I wanted to try to throw more sugar into the spawner because I thought I threw as much sugar as I could. But I want to check. So sugar actually speeds up the spawner. Yeah, see, it won't let me throw any more sugar in there. So this guy's maxed out. Uh, but essentially what happens is that these fans push the mobs all the way over into this corner over here. And then they go whoop down and they're good. So actually, we could probably watch it lightly so let's see i can't see any probably because i'm too close all right let's get out of here all right we got the levels <laughs> we got the levels that i needed uh because i want that feather falling i really want that feather falling feather falling three heck yes i will take that uh what do we have next let's see healing sufficiency no i'm not really worried about that okay so Fire protection and feather falling three. I'm gonna throw those on the. I'm gonna throw those on the boots. I think. Yeah, we'll just throw them on the boots for now. Give us a little bit more protection than what we have. Uh, let me take my boots off. And we'll put. Uh, let's see. Night vision. Wait, what does night vision do? Grants the wearer night vision. What? That would be amazing. Of course, is that like annoying? Um, feather falling. And then fire protection. Oh, my anvil broke. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Let's make another anvil. 
<laughs> of course. And then let's actually go ahead and make a, um, where is the deal? It's the Stella something, right? This thing. Let's make one of these. Oh, dang it. It actually didn't destroy anything. Nothing got destroyed. How's that even possible? <laughs> I don't even know how that's possible. Uh, okay. Sorry. Stella, this thing. Let's make one of these. We're going to put that on our helmet because our helmet obviously... Oh, we actually... No, we need to make a netherite helmet. Hold on. Let's make, uh, let's make some netherite real quick. Let's make another right ingot. Uh, go ahead and craft that. Put that in there. Actually, shoot. We grab another one. Put it in here. Okay, and then let's grab our anvil, and let's get let's get geared up a little bit better here. Okay, so we'll put that there. Um, let's grab our helmet off of here. Where'd my boots go? Okay, golden boots on there. They have feather falling three, fire protection two, and indestructible, which is good. We're gonna go ahead and put indestructible on our diamond helmet. Wait. What? Why is that not working? Diamond helmet. This. Uh, what? Why can't I put anything on this helmet? Three armor, two toughness. Wait, what? What just? I don't even know what happened. What has happened? Why? What? Oh, is, is it because I'm trying to rename the thing? Diamond helmet. Why is this not working? Am, uh. Oh, it's the smithing table. Gosh, I'm dumb. I'm sorry. It's not that table. It's the smithing table. Netherite helmet. Indestructible. Now we can put, uh, let's see, we'll put that on there. Do we put night vision on it? Let's try it. Is that going to make it look super weird though during the day? Oh, it just infinitely gives me night vision. Wait a second. Are you kidding me? Is it that easy? Uh, feather falling three, fire protection two. Do we have any other protections that we want to throw on here? I don't think so. Um, I want to get my jetpack going. Night vision. What? So we're going to be able to see like everything no matter what, no matter how dark it is. <gasps> That's good and bad. That's good and bad because like, I'm not going to be able to tell what's properly lit and what's not. So like, okay, that's going to wear out. And then, hold on, wait for it to go away. That is so crazy cool. <laughs> I love it. All right. Are we good? I think we're good. Let's grab our food. Uh, let's go get some bees. We have a little bit of fire protection, not a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and clear that out and let's drop. I guess I'll take my netherite stuff with me. Okay, I think we're good to go. We have gold boots. We have a steel thing. I really want to get this, to, this thing to get charged fully, but, you know, it is what it is. Also, do we need to put a waystone in the nether, maybe? Uh, let's see. I should have a waystone. Yeah, let's throw a waystone up in the nether. So if I need to get back, I can. I don't know if the, uh, the warp stone works between dimensions or not. So we'll just drop it in here. Oh my gosh, we're going to be able to see everything amazingly, too. <gasps> yes. Okay, put that right there. Uh, this is gonna be nether portal. Nether portal. Done. Activate. Okay. So we've got our warp stone. Oh my gosh, we can actually see stuff. This is crazy cool. <gasps> I don't need torches. I can see everything. Wonderful. All right. So we are looking for bees. We are out looking for bees. Let's go see if we can find some bees here. Where would I find a bee that I'm looking for? Uh, a netherite bee. That would be cool. How do we get a netherite bee? So, netherite bee. No. Hold on. Let's click this one. Wither bee and a diamond bee will make a netherite bee. A wither bee, I believe, needs a withered bee and a ghost bee. So, a withered bee is a coal bee and a spooky bee. But I think a withered bee can actually be found. Spawns in world. No, it does not. Okay. Spooky bee, coal bee. We already have a spooky bee. We already have a coal bee. So we should be able to make a withered bee. And then... 
We're looking for... I think we're looking for a... Um, a ghost bee? Does not spawn in the world. Okay, so how do we get you? A beeper and a magma bee. Magma bees. Uh, they do spawn in the world. They spawn in the warp deserts. Uh, so, okay, the nether. You know what? Let's just go look for... Let's just go look for bees. Let's just go look for bees. We're going to find bees. I'm going to tell you right now. It feels super trippy seeing everything like this. And then flying around. Oh, there's a Firefox. I don't know if that's what they're actually called. But that's what I'm calling it. There's a nest right here. That would make me think that there would be a bee here. There would be a bee. Oh, hey, here's the rest of my... Uh, <laughs> there's there's where my uh, my mining thing's going out to. That's kind of cool. I'm trying to find a bee. Any bees in here? I say this chunk loaded super weird. Oh, you know why? Because that chunk is force loaded. Interesting. Where are the bees? Are there any bees on this little nether fortress deal right here? I'm going to tell you right now. Being able to see this night vision is amazing. I never realized, I never realized how handy that stuff actually is. Oh, hello, Blaze. How are you guys? Oh, there's a Blaze spawner. Ooh, you know what? One bag of yurting? Uh, yurt. You're gone. <laughs> I'll take that blaze spawner with me. Thank you very much. <gasps> Ooh, look at this area. Bees? Any bees anywhere? Anybody see a bee? This is a cool area, though. Very neat looking. What is this? Flesh? That's mildly disgusting. Oh, here's a wither. Here's a, another fortress, too. Let's go in here and see what we got. Any bees? This is like a giant nether fortress. Holy moly. <gasps> Ooh, a chest? Oh, that's a cool looking chest. Light gray rune. Uh, I'll take all those. Actually, I might take that chest, too. That's a cool looking chest. Ooh, light gray runes, nether bananas. Orange rune? Yeah, I'll take all that. Thank you. Oh, okay. I blow I, I I blasted in here. Uh you know what? I do really want these wither guys. I really do want to get you guys. Um I could use some of your your useful stuff. Actually, I need a wither flower. A wither rose. Can you guys kill something for me? No? You're not gonna kill stuff for me, are you? I'm just gonna kill you and hope for the best. Bone? A wither bone? Soul sand? Oh, that's I just got that from, from this. Okay, so we got some soul sand in here. What else? This is a cool area. I could use an... I, is there a bee? Is there a bee specific to this area? I also need to get beheading on this sword because then I can collect the, uh, the, wither, the wither skulls a lot easier too. There's a whole bunch of stuff we gotta do. I'm just trying to figure out where the heck... I haven't seen a single bee here. Ooh, that's a lot of wither skeletons. I think we'll be fine. I'll eat a, all the modium apple. And we'll be good. Uh-oh. Oh, he's not happy. I made an enderman mad. Nope, made him mad too. Oh, what kind of sand is this? What is, what is this? Frost magma? What? I want some of that. Wait, so is it cold? Is it hard to stand on? Yes. Yes, it does. Oh, but it's super cool and I want it. it was, is my inventory full? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I don't need nether bricks. Uh, I don't need a fairy essence. I don't need nether bricks. Oh, you know what? It's gonna keep sucking it up because I have magnetic. Okay. Uh, Still looking for... Wow, frost magma. That's something interesting. Oh, really? Don't. 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 Just go. Ow. Bad skeleton. Hi. <laughs> he gone. <gasps> There's a bee. There's a bee. Oh my gosh. First bee sign. Two bees. What kind of bee are you? You're a crystal bee. Uh, I need you. Okay, that was a crystal bee. What is that one? I don't know what that one is. Uh, Crimson berries. Let's get rid of that. I want this guy. What kind of bee are you? What kind of bee was that? 
a glowing bee. Ooh, we got two bees. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Super cool. We got two bees in one area. Ow, ow. Is that a warped cactus? What the heck? Oh, that's super cool. I'm super glad we got that. You know what? I don't need that much frost magma, pro probably. And nether wood sapling. That is actually kind of cool. Nether banana. Okay. All right. Continuing looking for bees. We did get a crystal bee, though. And that's, uh, that's a big deal. You know what? There's another glowing bee. I'm getting you. Just to have extras, I'm getting it. If I see one, I'm getting it. Where did it just go? Glowing bee. Glowing bee. Okay, it's right there. Okay. Whew. I was a little worried. Oh, what kind of bee are you? <gasps> it's a lava bee. Yes, I have to have you. Uh, get rid of the blaze rods. Oh, what kind of bee are you? Oh my gosh, there's bees everywhere. What kind of bee are you? Uh, I gotta get rid of something. Uh, blaze gold nugget. Yeah, I don't care about that. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you just go? You were right here. Where'd you go? Did you go up here? It was a darker one. There, 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 there. What are you? What are you? What are you? I don't know what that one. What was, what was that one? Uh, magma bee. Oh, there was a magma bee and a lava bee. Glowing, magma, lava, crystal. Okay, so those are the bees that we got. All right, cool. Uh, you know what? I don't really need a bone. Oh, that's super cool. I love seeing all the new bees. <gasps> There's one right here. What kind of bee are you? What are you? Magma bee? Mm, should we take it just in case? Okay, we got it. Magma bee. Whoa. 74% what what's going on right now? What is that up thing in the top corner loading? I don't know what that is. Oh server backup. Okay. It's weird. I'm not on a server Uh, okay, so we have some bees Oh, this is so exciting this is So exciting now. I think we're looking for I want to say there's like a with we need the withered bee too If I'm not mistaken, so we'll keep looking <gasps> There's a bee here. Hold on. We got to drop some stuff. Cole don't need you inferior medicines don't need you what kind of bee are you? Ow. Where are you? Are you a lava magma bee? That's a magma bee. I'll grab it anyways. I think we're looking for a withered bee though. <gasps> What's this? What are you? I don't know what that one was. What was that one? Uh, another magma? Okay, so we have what? Three magma bees. Well, we have four magma bees. But we need crimson iron ingot. I don't need that. A blaze gold ingot. I probably don't need that. Blackstone. I don't need that. Crimson. Uh, you know what? Let's eat this banana. I can't even eat the banana thing right now. Okay. All right. I'm looking for a nether bee or a withered bee. I think. What are you? That's just another magma bee. All right, we'll leave that one alone. Oh, what is Sub-Zero Ash Block? Oh man, these biomes just like, they just don't stop. They just keep coming and they're super cool looking. And I'm still looking for more bees because we always need more bees. Oh, I just got an achievement, praying in the wastelands. This must be like a, a wasteland -y church type deal. That frost magma? Yeah. <laughs> ow, ow. I wonder what's in here. Hello, guys. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Oh. Protection three? Gold horse armor, gold nugget, golden sword with sharpness four, tombstone soulbound, uh, raider's bane, venom, and outlaw. Ooh, these sound exciting. Okay, well, let's get the protection three book. 
Um, Raiders, Bane, Venom, and Outlaw. Not actually sure what those do. Tombstone, Soulbound, Sharpness 4. Sharpness 4 would be nice. Gold Horse Armor would be kind of cool too. Uh, what was in... Oh, was that the only chest? There wasn't another chest? I don't think so. What's floating around me? Probably the stuff that I dropped. Uh, and then there was like a dispenser, it looked like. Cross Magma, Weeping Vimes, dispensers. Dispensers are usually handy. Let's take the Golden Horse Armor. Stone Sword. Sharpness 4, though. Sharpness 4 would be nice. Not gonna lie. What could we swap that out for? Flint and steel, maybe? Uh, we'll swap that out for the gold. The flint and steel might come might be coming handy. Okay. Oh, that was super cool. I've never been to this little area. It's got like a little it's like a little trap kind of thing. It's like a Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of feel. Alright. Uh bees. <laughs> we're, we're looking for bees. I'm gonna have to head back soon, anyways, because I'm about out of flight juice. Which is okay, because we have enough bees that we can play with uh getting some stuff going see what we can get <gasps> there's a bee there's a bee we got to get rid of something uh let me go ahead and get rid of that so that way all that stuff just falls what kind of bee is that is that just another magma bee arrow of harming instant damage too that's kind of neat let's get rid of those and let's go over here and try to grab this bee what kind of bee are you are you a magma bee? Okay, I got it. I think it's just another magma bee, though. Yeah, magma, 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 magma. A lot of magma bees. We only got one crystal bee. I'm looking for... Like I said, I was looking for a withered bee. <gasps> What's this bee? Besides instant death bee because I'm being shot at. I think it was just a magma bee. I don't think it was anything special. I think it was a magma bee. Uh, but what if it wasn't? What if it was a wither bee? Let's go up here. Maybe there's more of them up here. You know, we could just, uh, return this guy to sender. Ow. What is hurting me? Hey, come on. Oh, come on! Should I just go up and fight this thing? Where did it go? Just dipped out. So did that bee. <gasps> There's a bee. There's a bee. There's a bee. Pretty sure you're a magma bee. What kind of bee are you? Magma bee. Don't need it. Oh, another one over here. What are you? Magma bee. Hmm. Apparently magma bees are like the standard nether bee. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's warp stone out of here. Oh, I can warp between dimensions. Home base. <gasps> oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. Okay, cool. Heck yes. All right, so we got some bees. Uh, let's go ahead and get our jetpack back on the charging deal. I need to. I need to do something about this. This charger for this jetpack. It's not. Uh, not ideal. Oh, look at that gold thing on. Where did I get that gold thing from? Golden chest plate. I have no idea where I even got that. All right, let's do a quick sleep, and then uh, there are monsters nearby. Gosh, get out of here. Is, are you the monster? Nope. It's that creeper right there. And let me guess. It fell in there. Mm, oh, fell right there. Don't you do it. Don't you blow up on my bees. I'll kill you myself. Speaking of bees, where'd all my bees go? Oh, sounds like they're in there. Just nighttime, hopefully. Oh, there's all my happy bees. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got a few bees to play with. We got a magma bee. 
So let's look at a magma bee. Let's see what they like and what they want. Make sure they're good. Magma. Mag. Ma. Magma bee. Okay, so what are what do you like? Uh oh, you like the vines. Warped fungus, nether wart, crimson roots, warped roots, warping vines. I don't think I have. Shoot. I don't have any of that. Um. Yeah, we need to, uh, we're gonna have to go get Weeping Vines, Twisting Vines, Crimson Fungus, Warped Fungus, Nether Wart, Crimson Roots, Warped Roots. Okay, so we're gonna have to go get something for those guys. So let me just throw those in the chest right now. I don't want to put them out until I have, like, the, um, the thing that they want, because then it's gonna prevent me from forgetting later. Okay, so what does a Lava Bee want? Lava. Lava Bee wants Lava. All right. That doesn't sound dangerous whatsoever. Uh, what does a glowing bee want? Redstone lamp, shroom light, glowstone. Okay, easy enough. And then what was the last one that we have? A crystal bee. What do you want? So crystal bee wants a block of quartz, block of sunny quartz, just block of quartz. Okay. All right. So let's go get a block of quartz. We're going to get lava, I guess. Jeez Louise. That, that just sounds like a really bad idea. That things are just gonna catch on fire. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about putting like blocks of iron or something around it, or like nether rack, maybe. Might be ideal. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, okay, quartz. So let's just go ahead and make a block of quartz. There you go. Okay, so block quartz for the quartz bee. Uh, and then we need, I need lava. Oh, I do have a bucket of lava, okay. Lava for the lava bee. And then, Crystal, lava. Uh, let's get some nether rack. Actually, let me go ahead and store some stuff here. The protection three, that's really handy. I might actually just put that on. Uh, and let's go and put everything else in here for now. Oh, we also need glowstone. We need glowstone. And then let's grab some nether rack. And let's see, nether rack. Perfect. We'll grab that. And then we're going to put that around. Actually, no, I don't want to put netherrack. I want to put something that's like non. That's not going to catch fire. I guess cobblestone would probably be ideal. Or just stone. I guess we could just throw it in the, in, in the middle of a stone thing. That'll be fine. All right. Uh, right. Let's do this. Let's go set up our. Let's go set up our buddies. Our buddy bees. All right. So. Uh, we already have one sand. Let's go ahead and let's grab, let's throw a glowstone out for our glows, our glow bee. And then a block of quartz. Um, we can go ahead and replace this one. So that'll be those three. And then we need a lava. None of those are flammable. These I imagine are flammable though. So I don't know if the bee will come all the way down here or not. I hope it would. Okay, and then we'll just get, yeah, we'll just get some stone. Cobblestone, sand. Yeah, we'll just use cobblestone for now. I'm a little worried about putting this bucket of lava in here. You have no idea. But that's, that's what that bee wants. That's what the bee wants. And we can't, we can't, you know, what are we supposed to say? Get to the bee. There you go, crystal bee. Oh, look at him go. He's going straight for the quartz. Oh, he's so happy. Glowing bee. That's going to go for the glowstone. Uh, we already have another glowing bee. And then a lava bee. Are you going to go for the lava? Of course it is. Uh, you're on fire, dude. I really hope it doesn't die. It better not be able to die from that. That would be the dumbest bee possible. <laughs> it's been on fire for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I think it's, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Uh, so we got to go get some vines for the other bee. And since I have an extra glowing bee, we're going to put that in there. And then let's go ahead and grab, let's see, protection three. Let's go grab some of those vines. You know, I can't even tell if it's light or not out. Like it's so weird with this night vision thing. Okay. Let's do some more quick enchants real fast. 
Uh, eventually things are gonna get too expensive. We're gonna have to like redo enchanting stuff, but that's okay. We'll we'll figure it out later. Protection three and pedestal area two. Well, that's what I want. I want to pull uh, protection three off of that, and then this guy is just pedestal area two. Don't care. So we have two protection threes. We're gonna turn that into a protection four. And then we're going to put a protection three on a, uh, let's see, protection three, protection three, gives us protection four. Uh, pedestal area three, I don't care. We'll go ahead and put that back. And then we will put, let's see, do we want to do, let's do protection four on our pants. Protection three on the helmet. The chest piece, I don't wear it a lot, so I'm not super worried about getting that fixed up. And then, let's see, another right chest, there's that. Indestructible night vision protection three those on okay so we have good we have some decent protections now all right so we need some vines let's go grab some vines for our other little bee dude pretty sure there's vines in here if i'm not mistaken actually you know what i'm pretty sure uh i'm pretty sure you gave me soul speed 2 yeah that guy gave me soul speed 2 so we can actually get soul speed boots. Wait, hold. Soul speed. Oh, that has soul speed three on it. We can pull soul speed three and put those on our boots. Then we can walk on. Um, we can walk on soul sand super fast. Okay, but we're looking for looking for vines here. So I think this is one of the vines for that bee. It's the magma bee, right? Let me look. Magma bee. What do you like? Wrong button. I got a layman vine. Mm, it's not one of those. It's not one of these. Okay, let's just throw those out. I don't care about those then. <laughs> don't care. <gasps> I bet it's one of those. Is there vines on these per on these blue on these trees? Oh, it's probably one of those. Those green ones down there. What are you? Warped roots. Yep, that's one of them. Almost positive. Warped fungus. We'll take that. Or fruits. We'll take that. Um, let's see. And we'll take some of these vines too, just just because. Like, why not? Awesome. All right. Uh, oh, what's this red stuff? Crimson roots. Ooh, fancy. All right, let's go back home. Let's get this bee going. I'm gonna use this warp stone because it's ready. Hey, I can tell it's dark out. Just looks kind of weird. Ooh, does that have to be placed on a certain type of grass? I don't really know. Uh, let's try to place it on here. We'll see what happens. Let's see if I place you. Will you stay there? Sure will. Place another one right there too. All right, and then we gotta get our magma bee out. Look at all these happy little bees. Happy busy little bees. All right, so one little magma bee. You're gonna go over there and grab your stuff. Oh, it's so happy. It's such a happy little bee. <laughs> All right, so let's see what bees we can actually combine to make our own little bees. Um, let's just go into, I guess we'll just go into bees and just look at what there is. Let's see, so how's a diamond bee made? A lapis bee, how's a lapis bee made? RGB and a redstone bee, how's an RG, how's a, how's a redstone bee? A glowing bee and a rocky bee. Do we have a rocky bee? I don't think we have a rocky bee yet. We have a mason bee. But I don't think we have a rocky bee. Gravely, and they're here too. They're in the overworld. Huh. Let's see, what, um, okay. Iron bee, RGB, RGB. I guess we can look by the ones that we already have. So I have a crystal bee, so we can mix you with crystal bee, and a crystal bee is gonna give us crystal bee. Crystal bee, and a rocky bee is gonna give us an aluminum bee. Crystal bee, and a rocky bee. Crystal B and a Mason. Crystal Mason gives us gold. So I need four nether quartz and five clay. Four quartz, five clay. And then those two bees, and we can get a gold bee. So there's five clay. So we just need nether quartz. And then I I think we need a golden block to place on the uh on the ground for the gold bee once we get it. Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's let's make our own little bees. Oh, I'm so excited! Gold bee. Oh, it's gonna be a gold bee. Okay, so let's see. Hold on. Um, where is the gold bee? Okay, gold bee 
is crystal and mason okay all right so we're looking for a crystal and a mason bee where are you that's a spooky bee that's a spooky bee where's the crystal bee okay there's the crystal bee we just need the mason bee the mason bee is the dark one i haven't found it yet i like how the lava the the lava bee is just on fire all the time <laughs> Crystal bee, glowing bee. Where's the mason bee? I don't see a mason bee. Did Was a mason bee one of the bees that we lost? We might have lost a mason bee. I know we lost a sandy bee. Huh. I'm not seeing it anymore. You know what? I think we did. Because I think we're not getting any mason honeycombs. But we were... Yeah, we must have lost the mason bee. Okay. Uh, do we go look for a mason bee? Or a rocky bee? I can't believe we haven't found like a rocky bee around here. We're like in the Rocky Mountains, you know? There's gotta be a bee around here. All right, we're gonna try to find a rocky bee and a sandy bee real fast. Or a mason bee, if we can find a mason bee too. Mason bee, rocky bee, sandy bee. Those are the bees that we had, but we don't have anymore. I think it's because they stung me. I think that's what happened. Oh, oh, what do we got? What do we got? Are you a mason bee? You look like you might be a mason bee. Is that a mason bee? Mason bee. Perfect. Okay, we got a mason bee. I'm guessing this is a zombie. Yeah, I don't need that. I need a sandy bee, though. Here's a hint. No, you're a spooky bee. Oh, are you a sandy bee? Sandy bee. Perfect. Okay. Sandy bee, mason bee, rocky bee. A rocky bee wouldn't it be nice to have, too. Uh, let's see. Where's a rocky area? Hmm, we were already in kind of a rocky area. Let's go, let's go up this way. Let's go like northwest, see what we can find over there. All right, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of fuel again. Don't see any rocky bees. That's okay. Uh, because we did get the mason bee. So, home base. We'll go ahead and sleep and we'll, uh, we'll get our first little bee babies. All right, so we have our mason bee. And we got a crystal bee. And then our sandy bee. We could probably let the sandy bee go. We'll let the sandy bee go. Boop, there you go. Be happy. All right. So in here, we are going to release a crystal bee and a mason bee. So crystal bee. Oh, darn it. I put it on the wrong side of the glass. Okay. That's a crystal bee, right? Nope. That's a skeleton bee. You're a crystal bee. Okay. <laughs> so, are you? Yes. Okay. All right. So, crystal bee, mason bee. And then we need to give the mason bee five clay and the nether. Okay. So, let's see you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Now, these two should do their little dance, and they made a. Gold bee! We've got a gold bee, baby! And I believe... Hold on. Gold bee. They want a block of gold to be on. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so fun! Oh, that is so fun. Hey, get over here. Okay. So, we've got those. Now, Um, while we have... Hold on. While we have the... Well, I guess let's see what the gold bee can mix with. Gold bee and silver. Gold and gold. Ender and gold will give us a platinum, gold, and electrum. Okay, so I don't really have any of those bees. Let's see. I have a mason bee. Let's see what you can give us. Gold, silver is a mason and iron, and then a mason and a mason. Okay, so not one of those. What about... Where's the crystal bee at? So if it was a rocky bee, we would have a chance to get... 25% chance to get an aluminum and 25% chance to get a copper... If we had a Rocky, but we don't have a Rocky, so that's unfortunate. Um, let's see. What about the Beeper? What can we mix with you? Iron. Iron and Magma. Oh, that'll give us a Ghost. Magma Bee needs a Molten Core, and a Beeper needs Catalyzing Gland. And then a Beeper and a Beeper will give us a Beeper. Okay, so... Let's see if we have let's see if we have those two and we'll let these guys go. And then we'll put our block of uh gold out. Alright. Uh one block of gold right there. 
The gold bee will find it. It'll be good. Okay, cool. Yes! Let's see if we have those two other things, though. I don't think we're going to have... I don't think we have the, the catalyzing gland thing. I have two. I have two catalyzing glands, but I think I needed three, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, it was three. Darn. And then we need uh, molten core. I have enough molten cores. Okay. But we need... Uh... Let me see if I have any catalyzing glands in here, because sometimes creepers drop in the spawner. Let's see if we have any of that stuff in there. We have one more. Oh my gosh, we have the stuff to do it. We can do it. We can make the, uh, we can make another bee. Okay, so two molten cores, three catalyzing glands, a beeper, and a magma bee will give us a ghost bee. This is exciting. This is exciting. So what did we need? I can't even remember what we needed. Uh, I think it was the magma bee and the, the beeper, right? Yeah, magma and the beeper. Okay. There's the beeper. The magma one. That's the sandy bee. You're a magma bee, right? Magma, beeper, yes. All right, so there's the beeper. There's the magma. The beeper needs these. The magma needs these. So beeper, one, two, three. Magma, uh, one, two. There, oh, there was only two. We should have, what did we get? We got an iron bee. No, we got a ghost bee. We got a ghost bee. Okay, and then let's go ahead and grab these guys back out of here. Uh, shoop. <laughs> this is so much fun. It's like, uh, it's, it's almost like a Pokemon kind of game, <laughs> kind of thing now with all these different bees. Uh, okay. So what does the ghost bee want though? So what is your, uh, what is your, your want? Uh, twisting vine, crimson fungus. Oh, perfect. I put, I put a couple of them out. So you should be happy too. All right. So there's the magma, there's the beeper, and then there's the ghost bee. Oh my gosh. We got so many bees in here. Um, now I can only have 20. I don't know how many bees I have. I kind of wish there was like a little bee counter to see like how many bees you had in an area. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. We're not at, we're not at, or 16. I can have 16 right now. We're not at 16 yet, but we're actually getting closer than I'd like. This thing is just so funny. Like, how are you surviving? I don't know, but I like it. I like it. Uh, how's this thing doing? Oh, it's filling up fast. Oh my gosh, it's filling up fast. We might need to, uh, we might need to route that out into something else. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to try to, uh, actually route that into a different chest. And have it go just into a bigger chest. And we'll probably just have it, like, right below this area. So let's see. I need to go over... One... Two... Three... Three blocks in. One, two, three. Should be right here. Right there. Okay. All right. Good to know. Uh, let's get a piece of. Let's get some dirt back here. Boop, like that. And then we'll try to throw a. Let's see if we can throw a hopper into a chest right here to hold that stuff. And then we'll put like a, a crafting chest like right here next to it because I mean, why not? Perfect. I think that'll work. I think it'll work good. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and throw a door on this too, just in case like any bees manage to get their way down here. I don't think they will, but you never know. Okay, so I just gotta get a hopper on here. I'm gonna have to do it this way real quick. Uh, with the quickness. Boop. And there it goes. Done skis. Put that back in there. And it's filling up as it's doing the stuff. We can go ahead and pull the sand out of there. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then this thing can hold so much more. And it's just, yeah, look at that. We're getting all the different honeycombs, things like that. Okay, uh, now let's go ahead and pull this off of here real quick. And then let's uh, let's actually see the kind of stuff that we can make with these. Because I believe these honeycombs allow us to make the items, essentially. So we'll put a chest here. And let's say I grabbed RGB honeycomb. I believe... That gives us orange dye. Or I think if we did what? That gives us yellow dye, gray dye, pink dye, and light blue, yellow, lime green, 
pink. Let's see. Is that is that all the color combinations for RGB? So that gives us a whole bunch of dye. Uh, lava. Okay, so that didn't do anything there. That didn't do anything there. Maybe it's a whole block. So that gives us a lava honey. Well, a lava honeycomb block. Um, what about what about zombie honeycomb? What does zombie honeycomb give us? Yeah, zombie honeycomb block. Oh, you know what? We need to make that B book. That's what we need to make. Let me go grab a book, and we'll make that. We'll make a B book. Actually, do I have some? Yeah, I have some honeycomb in my thing, so we'll be able to make that. Pretty sure if I just do that and this, that's going to give us 50 shades of bees. Perfect. Okay, so now, uh, bee basics, honeycomb basics, centrifuge, whoa, centrifuge basics, apiary basics, help and bugs. What is centrifuge? Mechanical centrifuge, power centrifuge, multi-block centrifuge. What is this? What do these do? To process honeycombs. Uh, to obtain resources from honeycombs, a beekeeper needs to have a centrifuge. Early on, a mechanical centrifuge is suffice enough to get going. Centrifuge also requires bottles to store liquid honey. The mechanical centrifuge is an entry-level centrifuge. Right-click while sneaking to use. Mechanical centrifuge. Multi-block centrifuge. Powered. The power centrifuge will increase efficiency in processing honeycombs at the expense of energy. Oh, so maybe I need to do it over here. Piston, smooth stone, and iron. Uh, well, let's see if we can make that. I might as well. I, I might need to make that right here. Um, what is it? It's powered. Where are you? What is this? Rat rail bridge, powered spruce rail bridge. What? I don't even know what that is. Centrifuge converts honeycomb into useful resources using this. I'm missing a piston. Boom! Piston's done. Craft that. Okay, so let's put that right there. Let's grab a cable. Pop that on right there. And that's powering up. Okay, so we have to have a bottle honeycomb. So I guess I need to make glass bottles. That's the wrong, wrong, wrong area to be searching. Uh, bottle darkness, bottle and cork, water bottle, glass bottle. That's what I want. I just want some of those. Okay, so let's get this, put those in there, put that in there. What? Wait, so that literally just converts to leather? No way. Oh, and then we get a honey bottle. Every so many. <gasps> oh! Oh, and we're also getting zombie hearts? What? No way. No way. That is amazing. Well, now I want to go get the other stuff and see what other stuff's going on. <gasps> okay, so that was the zombie stuff. So we're getting zombie flesh and zombie hearts. Uh, can you not be in here? That'd be great. Uh, RGB honeycomb, lava honeycomb, honeycomb, gold. Let's try gold. And then let's try glowing. And then let's try spooky. Beeper. Crystal, maybe, I guess. Ghost. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what to expect from these. Um, well, I mean, I have an idea. Like, ghost. Is ghost going to give us gas tears? No way. That would be, like, super OP if we get gas tears from, from bees. Uh... We already have a stack of flesh. That's fantastic. Okay, you know what? I don't even care about that. Uh, I want to see what the ghost does. What did you give us? <gasps> we actually got a gas tier. It's just giving us gas tiers just like that. Oh my gosh. And beeswax. Okay, so that's amazing. Crystal? What's that going to give us? Nether quartz, probably? Yep, nether quartz. Is beeper going to give us gunpowder? Oh, I hope it gives us gunpowder. Okay, well, we'll leave that one alone. That's cool. Beeper. Gunpowder. Come on. Gunpowder. 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 It gives us four gunpowder! Oh my gosh! It gives us four gunpowder. That's amazing! Well, alright. If we ever need gunpowder, we'll have gunpowder right there. Okay. <laughs> Spooky. I'm gonna assume bones. 
I assume it's going to give us bones. And bones and bone meal. Oh, wow. That's kind of a big deal. Uh, let's see. Glowing is probably going to give us... Glowstone and B-Wax. Uh, gold. I bet that just gives us gold. Does it give us gold ingots or... Oh my gosh, it gives us gold ingots. So that means the diamond bee is going to give us just straight up diamond. And steel and iron. Oh my gosh, these bees are like... If you if we get a big bee farm going, like that's crazy. That is craziness. Holy goodness, that's amazing. Uh, we just need a way to process this stuff faster. And man, it'd be nice if we could like if it'd be nice if there was like a, a way to mass store this stuff. I guess we probably could. Let me see. Let's pull up this book here. Uh, multi block. What's a multi? What is this? The multi-block centrifuge is a powerhouse compared to the power centrifuge. It has a capacity, a capability to process honeycomb blocks in addition to normal honeycombs. It can, it can also process three separate honeycombs simultaneously. Visualize the structure to get an idea of how to build it. Multi-block centrifuge. So it's like one, two, three by four. Three by four with, with some centrifuge casing. To build a multi-block, you will need one centrifuge controller and 35 centrifuge casings. The structure size is 3 by 4 by 3 with the controller one block up from the bottom and the center of any face. What is that? That already looks super exciting. Okay. So, uh, health and bugs, apiary basics. Building an apiary, apiary basics, apiary storage, apiary breeder. The apiary breeder is an automated way to breed bees to use the breeder. You must capture each parent bee in a jar and place the filled jars in the appropriate slots. You will then need to determine which flowers. Oh, okay. So there's apparently like a machine. A apiary breeder. Max breeding time. Oh, it can just like keep going. Interesting. Building an apiary. An apiary multi-block is extremely simple. The structure consists of an apiary. A period storage of any block void. Oh my gosh. Uh apparently um there are four tiers to the A period, each increasing the amount of combs. Apparently I was I was doing this wrong. Because uh A period basics. Okay, so this is an A period. This is what an A period would look like. Right click to a block to anchor. Okay, so what what do you what would you look like? So this is an apiary? Interesting. So there's like a special way that you could build this to make it work. And we were doing our own kind of thing with it. This is kind of neat. All right, let's stop visualizing. Oh, mm -mm -mm -mm. I hear you. Oh, you're getting you're getting wrecked by my bushes. That's hilarious. And you're dead. Uh, that's funny. So there's like a whole apiary thing that we could have we could have built that we didn't. Don't you do it? I'm getting so sick of these things. We got to get that torch here soon. Stop it. Bad. Okay. Uh, we need to sleep for the night. But that is gonna end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Uh, if you want to see the actual apiary, leave a comment down below. Let me know because I kind of like what we got going on. Um, but I I feel like maybe the apiary is the way to go. I don't know because I like I like being able to see them, and I don't know if I just did a, did a big huge house like that. If it would be quite the same, you know what I mean. Whereas like this, like I can actually see everything. I see everything that's going on. It's super cool. Um, and it, it is working too. It is working. So, oh my gosh, so exciting! So many bees to collect and get. Um, I think next episode, I think we're gonna kind of move on from this. Um, not move on, but like if we find bees along the way, we'll grab them. But I don't. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we'll continue this. Maybe I'll get another stack of houses, or we'll get a uh, higher tiered beehives <laughs> and go for that i don't know this is just so much fun oh i love the bees but yes thank you again for coming out hopefully you had a fantastic time like subscribe all the fun things i will see you in the next one